I'm Jim Gallison, and this video demonstrates reading brainwaves and converting them to sound waves in real time. I'm wearing the Epoch Neuro headset by Emotive and wirelessly streaming brainwave data to my PC. I've written a little signal processing pipeline that takes the neuro data stream and transforms it to frequency space. After some filtering, the pipeline either synthesizes a waveform or pushes some pitches to the MIDI device. I'm starting with a synthesized waveform from the raw inverse Fourier transform. We'll buffer up a few seconds of data. And this is the sound of the raw brainwave signal, unfiltered. Most of the energy is in very low frequencies, like around 20 hertz, so my speakers can't render them very well. I can shift the whole spectrum up by approximately an octave, though. And this will start to get into the range that my speakers are happy with. Another octave up. And another few octaves. Well, quite a few octaves more. higher frequencies, we start to hear some interesting overtones. So now I'm going to shift the frequencies back down to something reasonable. And then I'm going to start filtering out frequencies below a certain threshold level. So this will make a less complex signal that's less like white or colored noise. actually hear a few of the sine waves that are making the signal up. So none of these sounds is very relaxing or conducive to meditation, so I can drive the MIDI device instead. So this starting with the piano voice. I use a one second buffer for the neuro data. The chords are like laying a MIDI keyboard on top of my brainwave spectrum. I'm matching MIDI pitches to particular bands in the neuro data spectrum. I think it's a little more interesting to hear instruments that have a very long sustain. So, for example, the cello is good.